What is up YouTube, this is Adrosso360 and today I will be doing you a review of the Razer Mamba Mouse. Now unfortunately I could not use my Yeti for this because it's kind of hard to have like a Yeti here and you talking into it while there's a mouse there and you're trying to fiddle around. So this way we'll have to do until I get to the review of the software for it. So as I said, we'll be doing. I'll be showing you the software. I will also be showing you the features and giving my opinions on whether or not you need this. Does it perform well? And basically, do you think you need this mouse? So, anyway, the Razer Mamba starts anywhere between a hundred to two hundred dollars, depending on where you are. It's kind of hard to put a price on technology because other places will get it cheaper if you go online, and it's all that. So the Mamba here is probably. It's it's a high mouse, and I think it is worth it overall. But so that's if you want to just come here and just know if is it worth it. So it's worth it overall, but you need to actually ask yourself, do you, do you use a mouse every day? So if you're a person who basically spends their whole day on a computer, especially on holidays or even for work, like me, I do um, YouTube videos, I edit, I game on my computer. So I need a mouse because I spend a good five hours a day on a computer doing stuff, whether it's schoolwork. School, if there's schoolwork, there's more. But anyway, enough talking about everything. As you can see here, the Mamba is on charge on its beautiful, nice black polished plastic dock. So when it's on charge, it pulses its light, and when you're on spectrum, which is what I have it on now, when it pulses, it stays on one color. But as you can see, when I take it off, uh, it will start to change color. So there you go, it matches the mouse, that signifies its pad, and it'll start going through the blue and purple and all that again. So anyway, we're going to go all the way up, oh my gosh, camera stuff, there we go. So anyway, on the left side of the mouse, you've got a nice little rubberized grip here, as along with two accessible macro buttons here. So for example, in Minecraft, I have this as inventory, and this one is shift, and in Photoshop, I've got this one as a macro saying um, control, alt, z, and shift. So anyway, here you've got your battery indicator lights, and um, the DPI adjustment lights, so how big's your DPI. So anyway, I'll show you that now. So these two little buttons here are your, are your on your fly DPI buttons. So if you're, let's say, in a FPS match and you have your DPI to that setting, so which is kind of low when you start to have green on the front. So and you're saying, oh, well, look, there's a good guy. There's a guy there. You're going to try and trick shot him. So to trick shot, you probably need a pretty high sensitivity so what you do you quickly adjust your DPI that means it's really high and you just do like your little 360 and shoot and try and get it <laughs> or whatever you want to do so anyway that's it and as you saw that's how the indicator lights work and now on the top here you see that <laughs> it's kind of yeah dirty uh, this material is prone to that kind of I think when you sweat a lot or something it's prone to that my Nostromo gets it sometimes but it's not as bad actually but it's bad. Well, you can clean it off later. Now, the clicks itself, they are inc the left and right clickers, they are incredibly sensitive. If I can adjust this so that you can kind of see it. There we go. That should be good enough. As you can see, this is in midair again, but they are incredibly sensitive. And stop. And according to my computer, I just clicked open 20, no, yeah, 28 new web browsers. That was bad. Same with the uh, left click and right click. They're both the same. And on the back here, you've got a little razor symbol. Now, before I go on, the ergonomics of this mouse are brilliant. As you can see, it contours it beautifully. Nice little hump here, and it's actually sloped. Now, this is actually a downside. If you are a lefty, if you're a left-hander, this is not the mouse for you, because if you try and get a left hand here, it will feel so uncomfortable. And what I would like to know is why that is on pink. Okay, so anyway, on this side, you've basically got nothing. But on the bottom here, this is where some of the action starts. You've got a 15-hour, uh, they say it's 15 hours, I think, 15 hours uninterrupted gaming. That is if you have no lights. I will say that now. Uh, when I go through my the software, you will see it shows you the estimated battery life when you have the different brightnesses of lights on. So, 
I'll actually talk more about the battery later. But anyway, also here you've got your recharge prongs, you've got your la uh, optical sensor and laser sensor, creating that 4G dual sensor technology that gives you so accurate, so much accurate tracking. I, this mouse has been probably one of the most accurate mouses I've ever used. So anyway, here we've got your pairing button and your on and off switch, as well as a cable ejector cable when that comes out. And your little footings here for the mouse, I don't have the core footings, but they're nice little smooth kind of rubber, so they allow you, when I get focused here, okay, so I'm just going to tap it a bit and it'll move a good solid bit. Now, when I, if I get my Goliath here, this is the Speed Edition, you, you will be able to see something that is actually really awesome. It is very frictionless ready watch this look at that the whole mouse pad well on a downhead slope but look at that just boom it is that beautiful that is also a mini review for the goliath that is a beautiful mouse pad i love it so anyway now okay i'm getting really annoyed how that's pink and oh by the way if you're watching this yes you can use it on just any random surface let's go green green looks cool Okay, that'll slowly change the green. Okay, I'll oh, put it back on Spectrum. Okay, so anyway, after that's finally done, now, as you can see, I've got this little tied up here because I like to keep my cables organized. And so this is the charging dock. Now, as you can see, you've got like a ring around here that is all lit up. And when I find a good, there we go. So it's all lit up, and depending on your color, it matches the mouse. As you can see, the mouse is a bit dimmer because I want to save power. And then you've got your little pair button here, as well as a nice Razer logo and your pins. On the bottom, there's not much. That is a nice gripping base. It's the same material on the Razer Nostromo, and from experiences, that does not move unless you get dust on it. So anyway, that's mainly it for the features. Uh, the mouse overall has been a great mouse. It is very sensitive. Um, I love it in Minecraft. I uh, mostly play Minecraft. And if you watch the series VGHS, the Mamba and the Nostromo is the actual perfect uh, kind of gaming collection. I'm actually going to show you this also. This is its... Um, the attach, I don't know, the mini, well, it's a micro USB or mini USB adapter into the mouse and the dock. So if you're running low on the mouse, I bet you've heard this many times, you just plug it in and it'll charge as well as to work as a wired mouse. Now, but, uh, and also one little problem here is when you go to eject this, it's kind of very hard to actually do it without pressing anything where if you want tips on this hold it here and hold it here and use your index finger to flick that up while it's in there and pull it out so anyway that's mainly it i'm sorry for the focus there so okay now the th the problems i've been having with this um every now and then it tends to lose connection but that's very shortly it takes a uh, probably half a second to warm up once it's been on charge for a bit when I put that back. And that's mainly it. One major uh, thing I've had with it is its battery life. Now, if, okay, so if you're a Logitech user, um, I've seen those, they have incredible battery life. They last you for half a year without you having to change this. This guy, you charge him whenever you can. Now, it's alright for me. Um, because, like, when I render video, it takes a while, so I can just leave it on charge while I render and go do something else. But if you're a continuous gamer, um, and you are running out of charge, you're going to have to plug in the cable. Now, you have to think to yourself, if you have to plug in the cable, why buy a wireless mouse? The death adder is just as good. It doesn't have some of the nice features like the DPI adjustment and all that, and uh, the nice base. I like the base. But... You have to think, what are you really paying for in a mouse? Are you paying for the looks or are you paying for the functionality? So if you do not have the time to charge this, um, but also saying if you're a laptop user like me, I've got a few laptops, a wireless mouse is kind of a necessity because uh, it's it makes it a lot easier to travel with. So that is another reason why you would pick this over the Death Adder. However, the Death Adder is about... 40 50 bucks cheaper than this so you have to really think do you really need an upgrade to the mamba now unless you're really serious about gaming maybe not
So, anyway, that's mainly it for the actual, my opinions on the Mamba itself and all that. Just the main thing I have to say to you when you go out and decide to buy this, just think about the battery life. Now, I get really angry sometimes when I leave it on and all that, and yeah, it doesn't really charge and all that. So, like now, it's on two bars of battery life, and that's been charging for about an hour, and... It's not a very good charge to use ratio. So anyway, that's mainly it. And now we're just going to jump into the software. Boom. Okay, guys. So now we're here with the software. So th um, thank God the audio has improved. This is my Blue Yeti. If you want to see that review, just check out my channel. Um, so anyway, with the Mamba, we've got the just normal tabs like the Nostromo software over here. But you've got a few different little uh, things that are better. So anyway, on the assign buttons here, you just got your left click, right click, scroll wheel, and basically just every button on there. And also your motion uh, mouse wheel option. So you can actually, if you scroll it forward, you can actually have that do a completely different thing. But who really does that? Okay. So anyway, that's mainly it. You've got your profiles up here. So as you can see, I've got a default, a Minecraft, and a Photoshop. They're the main things I use. Every now and then I use uh, like editing software, Vegas. It's, I don't really need any macros for that one. But for Minecraft and Photoshop, why does that watch always go off during my videos? <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, during Minecraft and Photoshop, I mainly need them. Uh, next up, you've got your performance. So this is your DPI. Now, as you can see, I am at full DPI right now. So it's very sensitive and it's hard to explain DPI, but it's basically sensitivity. Basically. So anyway, acceleration, that's basically uh, how much you need to move them. Well, that's also what DPI is, but how much you need to move the mouse to move it like across the screen or stuff. But uh, right now, I just move the mouse probably about four centimeters to go across the screen. Then let's say we move the DPI down there. It's going to take a lot longer. I think you need to apply first, but anyway, I like to have it up there. So any change you actually make in here, you actually have to hit apply before it actually happens. And I actually don't like acceleration. So anyway, now you've got your profiles. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then you've got your macros. So I demonstrated what macros were in um, Nostromo in the Nostromo review. But if you... Okay, so for all you serious gamers out here that are watching this, I'm sorry that you have to see this. But um, if you don't know what macros are, I'll show you right now. So, okay. So let's just say in um, Photoshop, you need... In Photoshop, to undo... Or to basically go a step backwards, it's actually Control Alt Z, not Control Z like usual. So I'll just go Photo Undo, Photo Undo here, and go OK. Now what do you do? You just hit Record. Now what I like to do, I like to insert a default delay, so it doesn't actually matter um, how fast you tap it. Uh, tap this, it'll still do it. So anyway, we will go Record here, and we we'll go Control Alt Z, all held down and that went really bad so anyway what we're going to do we're going to restart that so control alt z and done then you go stop and then you go okay and then you need to go back here and then assign it to that but i've already got a photoshop undo so anyway what happens with that macro when you uh press the button oh, i'll actually show you so anyway we'll go photoshop undo here uh, you need to go down to, where, here we go, macro, macro, macro. Then what you do, you select your macro, and now you can either have, like, play once or play multiple times. I like to have it up play once. So if that means every time you click that button, it will perform that recording. So every time I click one button, it will go Control-Alt-Z, exactly how I do it. So in Minecraft, I do that for, like, hit. I've got hits with basically 20 millisecond delay, so it's one button and it'll just hit, 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 hit. I need to actually work out how I'm actually going to do instant sprint because that's really hard to keep it engaged when you want to. But anyway, the main feature of the Mamba that is completely different to the Nostromo kind of software is the lighting and color. So, and in fact, this is what I actually wanted to talk to you about, especially in power management here. But all we have here is spectrum cycling. So that is when it goes through every single color on basically a computer's rainbow. And then you've got your choose your own color. And there is a lot of colors here that you can choose from. You can set it to anything. I have actually haven't tried black. I want to see how black actually gets portrayed as light. But anyway. And then you've just got your brightness. So 
of um, dim, normal, and bright. So this is actually what I wanted to talk to you about, the power management. Now, when in wireless mode, reduce light brightness to normal. So see there? Estimated battery life up to eight hours. So this is actually one major, major kind of gimmick-ish thing with the Mamba. They tell everyone, yeah, you can get like up to 15 hours. Now you hear that up to and you go, okay, what's the terms and conditions? But this is it. 15 hours, I expect 15 hours on dim or normal at least. When you go bright, I can understand because it's literally powerful. But seriously, to keep a light on will cost you like, what, 17 hours? Oh, pff, pff. <laughs> Seven hours? Really? Just like a little bit of a dimmer light. I'm s like, if anything, I want a separate battery for the light if that's going to do that much drainage of a battery. So they really, that's really a big bummer, but I can handle that. And then you just got your enter sleep mode, so that just saves the battery. I've got it to one minute, because if I don't use a mouse for one minute, I'm either watching a video or doing something. And that's basically when you want to get alerted. But that's mainly it. Also up here you've got how much your battery has left and your connectivity. As you can see it's perfect. Uh, one little tip if you already have the Mamba. Um, when setting these, connect the Mamba directly to the cable because it will be a lot faster. But overall that's mainly it. So thank you for watching this very long review. If you made it this far, congratulations. Message me if you made it this far and prove it by, I don't know, saying stuff. I'll ask you questions. And I don't know, you might get something maybe but anyway if you do like this do subscribe um i put this out on a regular basis probably about i do an unboxing and a review of an electronic item at least once every two months um maybe during this year not as much because i'm trying to focus more on actually giving away stuff so look out for that in future and so yeah just be sure to check some of those videos out in the outro here and i hope you have a great day